So I've been eating, I've been eating here, but I just found out there's many Canadians in the Philippines. Uh, we have a lot of Canadians here in the Philippines. Actually, they're not national. They're called Magsain Kanajan, Magluto Kanajan, and Magbantay Kananambata Jan. They are Canadians. The time has finally come. Haircut. And this is going to be a local haircut. And it's also going to be a Santa all haircut. What do I mean by that? Well, behind me is Rex's barbershop called Slick and Faded. And you might remember him and his girlfriend Monique from our Mount Apo trek. Look at this. So close your eyes. The reason I'm saying Santa All is because they had the Santa All moment. It means like, oh man, we wish we all had that. Anyways, let's go into his barbershop. Let's check it out. Let's get a haircut. Thanks, good Brad. Thanks, good Brad. Looking good, man. Yeah. Bogey. <laughs> this is my ancient comb. Ancient comb? <laughs> how, how old is that comb? 81. <laughs> Nice one. Salama Chappi. Chappi? This is it. This is the moment of truth. Okay, here's what's going down. Uh, Rex sent me a whole bunch of pictures last night of different haircuts. Speaking of that, I heard rumors, Rex, that you first learned how to haircut when you were like Tambai. Yeah. So you used to be just like a Tambai dude in Tagum. Yeah. And, uh, one of your friends got you interested in haircutting, or yeah. okay, and then My friend Alex, and then what happened? To learn haircut. I also heard rumors that not only did your friend help you, but YouTube helped you. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you would just like watch people cut hair and learn like their style and techniques. Or? Yeah, cool. Basic, right? basic haircuts in YouTube. YouTube tutorial. Okay. Now, what I really want to know, bro, is well, first and foremost, how long have you had the shop for? Uh, two years. Okay. And like I heard there's a school next door, right? Yeah, so I had St. Mary's College. Uh, I heard you used to get a lot of clients because the students would come over, but uh, now it's a bit Ming Ao, no? Yeah, because of the pandemic. Okay, but how many staff did you employ here when it was like busy? Uh, I have six barbers. Six barbers, cool man. Yeah. So Rex was just saying, before he started cutting hair, he used to just make bad decisions. <laughs> but not only has he changed his life and got into this really cool business and artistic uh, talent, but he also ended up hiring seven other barbers, uh, you know, providing jobs for them. Obviously now it's a bit tough in the pandemic, but uh, if you have a chance, come get your hair cut and spread the good vibes. Yeah, barbering changed my life. That's cool. So I just found out why they call the barbershop slick and faded. It is their signature go-to haircut. Do you, do you even know what you're doing to my hair yet? Do we know? Or are you just going with the flow? Let's 
going with the flow. We're going with the flow. We're not giving me the slick and faded. We're going with the go with the flow style haircut. You can come and get one now for ten thousand pesos. That's, <laughs> that, that's a joke. It's one hundred fifty pesos for a haircut. But. <laughs> <laughs> J Jundi and Kumar are watching live right now on Rex's Facebook and literally they're telling him to make me go bald. The term for bald is like upawi, no? Is yeah, that correct? Like yeah, upau. upau means like no hair, no? Yeah, yeah. So in case you're wondering in the Philippines, upau, no hair. Please, please don't do that, bro. <laughs> yeah, dope, man. Cool. Run it up. Woo! All right. I like it. I don't feel 33 anymore, I feel uh, 23. Yeah, 10 times younger. 10 times younger, bro. Nice. Right? Nice. Brad. I'm, uh, I'm officially endorsing Rex. Uh, but he's that haircut is next 10 times younger. Well, that was awesome. Uh, not only because I really like the haircut, but it's really a reminder that in our lives, you know, formal training and education, of course it's important and it's wonderful to have. But what's even more important is just applying yourself and wanting to learn. And in this case, imagine Rex didn't go to a barber school, but he really worked hard and applied himself to something and wanting to learn. And what's happened is it's actually you know, grown something really positive in his life, which is now having a barber shop, employing other locals, and making people feel good about themselves. I feel great. I feel young. Feeding co pogi. <laughs> um, but yeah, just awesome. I love his shop, and it's right next to St. Mary's uh, School there in Tagum along the highway. Gonna head back into the city now. As you can see, the massive overpass flyover that they're building. They've really started now the, the runways, or the, the on-ramps. And again, I'm looking forward to driving up there one day. I'm hungry. I also need to go find a friend. Let's go. This looks like a very familiar truck. Very, very familiar truck. <laughs> We're vlogging each other again. We're each other. I, I love it. It's our best thing know, ever. Hello, friend. Okay, I have talked to his vlog for one minute and now what I'm going to do is follow him on Google Maps to Cafe Angelo or An Cafe. I think it's A-N-G-E-L-O like We're going to eat somewhere I saw photos of it looked really good but I've never been yet Cafe Angelo yeah. I'll see you there, I'll just follow you bro yeah, yeah, Good yeah. luck By the way, look at his hat <laughs> You look great man I love this hat yeah, you look, He looks young We're, I'm looking young too Right? I hope, am I? It's not on Google Maps. My hair can't make me look young. Oh, take it. Okay, photo time. See you at Cafe Angelo. <laughs> Something really dope is happening. There's a guy getting married at the place we're gonna eat, at least nearby. What's your name, bro? My name is Alan Dave Milana, I'm from Philippines. Who, who, oh, and, and who, Fred, who's your, who's your fiance? Who are you getting married to? 
She's sending me. She's inside. Cool. Congrats, man. Go love. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. So am I. Excellent. I'm very excited. Oh, I'm dude. Do you have available squash ginger soup? Yes, please. Hari Isa. And... Is this place pretty new? So, this place seems pretty new, and it's like attached to a hotel called Malave. Right there. Woo. And I went pescatarian style, ordered some tuna and some kini lao, but what I'm so stoked on oh. is a squash ginger soup. Yes. Which I think yes. you went for squash. as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, I saw that and I thought that's gonna happen. And I ordered rice so Commander won't scold me and call me, uh, <laughs> call me unbecoming. <laughs> the becoming Filipino rice scam has ended. I had to order it. Yes, you did. I actually think, where is this made? It's, 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 it's written in French. Mississauga, Ontario. Yeah, it's yeah, Canadian, yeah. man. Yeah, it's Canadian, eh? And I've got a... <laughs> a mango shake. <laughs> and I've got an umbrella. I like your menu, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. This got me excited. Yeah, this did get me excited. <laughs> okay, so basically the owner and chef just came out randomly while we the food came, so that was really awesome, but this food is so presentable, it's really fresh. They said they use locally sourced stuff. I think they gave Commander baby back ribs. I said I wasn't eating meat today, but I'm pretty tempted now. Uh, we're just gonna eat. It looks awesome. You'll see some B-roll of us eating. Let's do it. Commander's taking videos of it and pictures with his cell phone, so I am super stoked on the suit. Legit. I'm telling you right now, you get the suit, okay? I think I've said it many times, the suit. You get the suit. And it's only 88 pesos. It's only 88 pesos? Mm. That's legit. I think it's even 78. 78 or 80. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know. It's just legit. Mm. It's very nice. This isn't happening, I'm not eating meat. Just cutting it. <laughs> Look at this one. Wow. Oh, how could you not? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> What's up, bro? Nice one. That's actually going to be an extension to the cafe. Turns out the cafe is actually connected with the hotel. Uh, it's all together in a business. It's only been open for two months, and I'm sure it's going to be very successful because the food is super good. Definitely worth going to. I ate the ribs, at least one piece of the ribs. I had to try it because, dude. Super delicious. <laughs>
BH. BH spread. BH. You know what BH is, right? Yeah, BH. Remember when you BH an Remember when you BH an entire pig head? I'm going to leave this with you because your suspension's better and you drive more carefully than me. Let's go to the pink house. Okay, just got back and I think this is the coolest thing ever. Ready? Watch this. Hello! Hello, Brungai! Como esta? Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, in, in one hour, one hour it's been ignit time. Como esta? Ayos? Como esta, Brad? Ayos? Ayos! 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 It's my Celine in. Yes. See you in a bit, see you in a bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo! I'm already local, man. Welcome to... Welcome to... The Pink House. The Pink House. Okay, it's 3.45 in the afternoon. Commander's taking a nap. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the neighbors and try the bedignit. Cause do you remember this yesterday? Bro, what's gonna happen tomorrow? Uh, let's eat bedignit. bedignit. All right, bedignit, I like bedignit. it. All right. The John. Oh, yes, John Lutz. Yeah. <laughs> nice spread. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. Looks like the whole brown guy's out on the road. What's up, bro? Hello. Stuff. Okay, long. Bye. 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 Stuff. Come on, the snackings. Yes. Hello, how are you? Oh, what's in the pot? Oh, yes, Hello. it's really oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yes, Fred. Hello. 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 Nice. Really, it was you, Brad. You really made it. Oh, yes. The legend. And say Pangalan again? Anford. Anford. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> My famous neighbors, Benignet. And we have uh, Toklene. Ah, oh, is it Mini Quick Quick? Oh, Mini Quick Quick. And say Pangalan Mini Quick Quick? Toklene. Toklene? Cool. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, with Toklene. So the sauce is good. Hello? Are you guys from the Sprunga or do they? No, no, no. We're you just came here for snacks? No. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna join the uh, the Tambay snacking boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Bites. Alright. If you didn't know, Benignit is basically a rice based, Malacca rice, it's like a fine rice based kind of merienda, and they put in lots of root crops. And there's like sagging and kamote. Mm. It's basically a warm halo halo. I'll give you another look here. Check it out. The best. Mm. I'm a biker gang. Hello, biker gang. <laughs> I really like, really love this brown guy. The best. Oh yeah, here you go. Woo! Hello. What's the name, This is uh, our GPS melt tea in Tagum City. Only 20 pesos. Hello. Shake, shake. 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 Sh
joking, bro. Yeah, the best. <laughs>